just before I came here thinking about what I should talk about, my wife and I went bird watching. Incidentally, we even like minor birds. <laughs> but that probably shows an intellectual poverty that we need to recover from. <laughs> so we went to a remote part of Washington State five days ago, and we were sitting watching the bald eagles. And suddenly a voice said, have you seen any eagles? It was the man from the house opposite. Now, imagine, this is a very remote part. The house exactly opposite where we'd pulled to the side of the road. So he asked me what I did, and I mentioned various things. He said, where did you study? I said, Cambridge. He said, did you ever hear C.S. Lewis? I said, yes, I did. And then the story came out. He'd been a pastor. He'd studied at one of the leading Bible universities in the United States. I said, what about it now? Oh, he said, I haven't been to church for many years. I said, why not? He said, one day my daughters came to me and said, Dad, we're not going to church with you anymore. He was devastated. Why not? Well, we hear you talk about the importance of family, but we never see you. So we're going surfing, and we're not going to church anymore. He said, I went surfing, and I've not been back to church myself since. It's very real, isn't it? And how do we handle it? Because it's so very easy to have a mask either in family or in Christian ministry, and not face the realities. And it's discouraging. Of course, this man was amazed that God had brought somebody to his front door. And we had a lengthy talk after he had invited us to barbecue with them. And I thought, you know, why don't I tell the folks in Australia about that? Because that's only one cameo of a vast problem that's affecting the Christian world, which is the undermining of faith and confidence in the message, at one level intellectually, and at another level morally and spiritually, so that people get weary, exhausted, and tired, and in the end, they give up. Ever been tempted to give up? So, what I thought I would do, and please pray for me, I don't feel qualified to talk to you at all. But if during these days we can say some things that wherever in the spectrum we're sitting at the moment, for some of you things may be going so well you wonder what the difficulty is. For others, you might be just hanging in there and feeling the pressure that God will encourage us. 